Hey man, I know everybody waiting on. I know everybody waiting on my my reaction, but I'm gonna just tell the truth. Hey Devin, you gotta fight me now. Shit, right now you need me. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, you need y'all need me. Y'all need me right now. You know, uh I talked to uh I talked to you before the 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 well, I ain't talked to you, you just did some like I really don't f that type shit in the camera uh before the fight. You know, but I talked to Bill and, and, and Eddie Hearn before the fight and y'all was calling me and shit. I don't know what that call was about, but you know, I I, I just wanna say that I'm the same I f you. You know, a loss don't define your career. I think you can still be one of the best in the boxing business. But uh, you need me now. Go get your shit together. And I'm fighting you. Because y'all need me. Let's go. Let's let's make the fight. Congratulations. Big, big win tonight. Um, this win, you know, in spectacular fashion with all the knockdowns, people have already started clamoring about a tank uh, part two. How do you feel just, you know, obviously Tank has to take care of his business uh, with Frank Martin in June, uh, but how do you feel? What are your thoughts on trying to make that happen? It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. You said it was disrespectful? You can talk about whatever after that, but that's disrespectful. You ain't gonna take care of the business, we're not gonna get into that. I like this one. I'm gonna take that at the same time. No, I'm aware. That's Frank Martin's trainer. I, I, I interviewed. I know. I interviewed Derek. Derek knows. I'm just saying is that's a that's a fight that people are clamoring for. It's been happening. No disrespect. Tank, respect Tank, me. Look at. I don't think Tank's gonna beat Frank Martin, but if he did. He wanna fight me because I'm moving up. I'm not doing 140. I'm 147. I can't make fucking 140. I, I never even technically fought at 140. I fought every time at 143. My body can't literally go lower than 143. It's impossible. I tried every technique. Can't do it. The only, the only way, the only way he's gonna fight Tank Davis, it's a catch weight. Okay, at, at 45, 44, just the way they did it to him. Yep. Mm. Mm. Now he's the man. Now he's the face of boxing. Let's go, Ryan. Come on. Now. Ryan. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Run. Run. You've spoken you've spoken in the past about the experience in Vegas, the tank fight, the rehydration flaws, the rib injury, uh the, the catch weight. What did you learn from that experience and how has it helped you? in this fight and how might it help you moving forward in your career? Uh, that people don't give a shit about you. They'll just, tell, they'll just put shit on your fuck. People give a fuck. So, you know, it's war at the end of the day, so I understood that um, I can't play around even negotiations. I can't let them win in anything. Because, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I pretty much did that for the boxing community and the boxing fans to run that fight. Despite all the causes, he told me not to, everybody and their mama told me not to. But I was like, fuck that, man. You guys are boring. Everybody's boring. I'm going to fight them. Win or lose, I'm going to run it. And I almost had his ass in the second. I was too weak. I, I knew I was going to lose in the back room. I had no power. I had no power. I had no mind. I was dehydrated. It was really bad. I should I should have actually died putting that weight. I should have. I really, but God protected me because I was blistering out of my mouth. I, I had no spit. It was like it was. It hurt every day to make that weight. I shook. I was shaking in the bed. Like shit was crazy.